downloading Conversations with... So Susie and Ashley, it's good to see you guys again. It's good to see you Yeah, too. so we were here like February-ish about, and we had a nice lengthy interview and did a whole week's worth of shows. So anything new since then? What's uh... <laughs> Nothing's changed too much. Yeah, <laughs> so obviously shortly after we were here, everything changed. So kind of, let's walk through that process. You know, when the first wave of everything starts closing down, what happens? What, what goes through your, I mean, you know, as the manager and the owner, what actually, what's the process? Obviously there's a lot of, oh my, what, what, wait, what's happening kind of thing, but talk us through that and tell us, you know, what, what you did. We, um, we had already offered Pottery to Go kits for large scale groups. And so as soon as we saw this come in and seeing things shutting down, we immediately started to create kits that were more for families, take home smaller sizes. And so we put together kits that were really friendly for the kids, adults, just something to do if we were going to be stuck at home, because at that point we weren't entirely sure. Yeah. It was very quick when everything happened. Yes. Um, so in a few days, we really had to come up with a plan to figure out how we were going to, to make it if, you know, if things did. really got crazy, um, and it did. Yeah. So we were putting together yeah, kits. And we had said if we sold a couple of them, that would be wonderful just before anything happens. And it turns out that they were pretty successful and then we shut down for five weeks completely we weren't selling anything and was that in march or april when you shut down uh, beginning of april yeah um right kind down. of when everything shut down we we you know decided that we wanted to do what was safe for the community yeah. and for our staff and everybody like that and and shut down until it was you know considered safe to reopen 